Hi guys, today we're going to make a new video uh, about the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge and the Marshmallow Update 6.0.1 that is running currently on my phone as part of the beta program in the UK. Uh, because we've got quite a few um, requests to show in detail how the Edge, uh, the new Edge panel works and all the, the features you get there, I'm going to do this today. So in this video you will see uh, mostly uh, things about the Edge screen. So first of all I'll go ahead and show you all the things you get in the Edge screen menu under settings. So first of all you have the Edge panels. I've showed you these before but now I'll go ahead and show you each individual uh, panel and you can see how you can customize those and they are really really cool. I really like them and I think they make this phone now different from all the others. Now the edge panel, the, the whole edge screen actually makes sense because previously yes you have uh, good looks and you know you, you get a few features here and there that are bonus for the edge customers but there was nothing really really special about it so this thing I think the software that is um, updated in the 6.0.1 Marshmallow gives you uh, a lot of freedom to to use your edge screen as as you would uh, you would like so first of all I'm starting with this edge panel the first one is called people panel uh, it's people edge so you can as uh, before set the edge screen to light up with different colors and notifications about contacts that you've added in my people so currently in my people I have five people you can change those from here you can move them and drag them I'll show you you can move them hold them and drag them and decide where to put them also you can change the different colors here so these are the six colors you get if you want uh, you can change those and move them around and you can take a contact and move it there or you can remove it and add a few more um, uh, less I mean so the five are the maximum the maximum contacts you can get here so you also have here uh, something called on circle you can send images, stickers and other fun messages to your friends, the people you have added to that on circle. Uh, so that's uh, good to know. Also, you have information about the version of People Edge and the late, which one is obviously the latest one and information that the one you're having at the moment is the latest one. That's good to know. That's People Edge. That's only the first panel. I will go ahead and, I'll go ahead and show you the second one. So the second one, uh, you can add apps here. Basically, you have a list of all your apps and the frequently used apps just at the top there. So these are the three frequently used apps by me. And you have a list of apps here you can choose from. So for example, if I decide to move Google+, Plus, I just have to take it, uh, click on it, drag and drop. Um, and I can group things in folders as well as you can see here. So you can create a folder uh, not only put an app here. So if I take H&M, I can just leave it there or I could decide and take Gumtree and add it to H&M as a folder. And you can customize the color of that uh, folders, kind of background and site. So there you go. This is how it looks. I think it's very cool and you can move them. If, if you decide you want something on top, you can move it here you can reshuffle them as you wish and you have quite a few of them so it's like 10 so you can you can choose between many apps so that's the app search that's the second one and it's really cool because you don't really need to open your phone if if you have all your favorite apps there grouped you don't really want uh, you don't really uh, need to unlock it. So that's quite cool. The edge gives you that possibility. So the third one uh, is called Tasks Edge. And as you can see here it says after you add shortcuts on the home screen they will also appear here. So you have different options here. You have clock options. You can add alarm, world clock or stopwatch. 
you have contacts options you can search contacts create a contact view group and add all these different cool features here on the site so you get again this double sized kind of thicker um, wider panel on the site and you have really cool features you can compose a new email and start composing a new email through here you can uh, view items in your album or you can view bookmarks you can create tasks you have your notes here you can send message straight from here make a call or just look at your uh, phone log or use the S planner function and look at your calendar and add some features here so for example I can click here and it goes there simply by, by clicking it adds it as a new feature or you can oops have to go back or you can hold it drag and drop to a specific position uh, let's see if I'm doing this correctly yep so there you go you can you can do that or you can just click on them and they will appear oops they will appear there Whoop. come on I don't know what I'm doing wrong here but obviously some of them work with clicking and some of them no <laughs> so dragging and dropping should work and should be fine for you and you can add 10 of those and you can reshuffle them and move them around as you wish I think that's really cool now just a second so the fourth panel here is the one with Yahoo News see when you click on it it shows you it's Yahoo, Yahoo News you can't really do anything uh, with it it's just by default there if you wish to uh, deselect it and not have it anymore obviously you can do it through here Otherwise, you don't have this settings option, the little pen at the bottom. You also have this cool quick tools thing, which actually shows you a compass. Uh, it shows you your location, your specific location by coordinates. And you can calibrate that and you can use a torch there. So you can have a little torch. Um, the next panel is weather information so based on your location you have weather information you have a quick overview of uh, what's the temperature outside and yeah that's pretty cool I think pretty uh, useful too the next one is my places so depending on your location you can set up uh, different apps and features here and shortcuts to specific things so uh, the phone will detect where you are based on the information you have provided for homework or out and about uh, and um, you'll be able to access specific applications depending on your location that's really cool so obviously you have to give access to GPS information for that to work. The next one is called internet so that's pretty easy to understand you have different websites here you can set them up and order them you can add five and you can uh, have quick access to these I can show you how you click on them and they are being added here you can move them around as you wish as well so that's quite cool. The next one is uh, sports related it's Yahoo Sports you can customize that by adding different um, sports teams that you are following so obviously you don't really have you know all local um, leagues but you have some of the major ones and you can choose um, team that you want to follow and you get news about it and results so for example if I uh, have I, if I say I want to follow Arsenal and Manchester United I can add them by clicking on their little tick there and I can go back and then I have both of them and once I open the edge screen I'll actually have news about them or at least I hope so <laughs> uh, next one is the Twitter trends um, panel well that's simple it gives you all the trending uh, keywords or hashtags it's a combination of both depending on what's trending currently on Twitter uh, the one just before the last one is called Yahoo Finance and you can set it up as well you can add favorite stocks if you have such things I don't really know much about stocks and I don't really care about it so I I'm not using it but if you do 
you can do it from here and you can get updates, I guess, as they happen. The last one is called S Planner and it's simple. It brings up all the upcoming events you have in your calendar and it's um, very useful because uh, you can get really quick information for everything that is coming up, all the events, all the dates um, you have there, all the uh, meetups and stuff you have planned in your calendar. You can also reorder these, just to show you how you can do that. You can use this drag and drop function and you can reorder them and put them in, in the order you like them to be in. Um, you also have uh, the edge panel handle settings. So I think I showed this, showed you these guys before. You can move the handlebar uh, on the side by dragging and dropping just like that. You can choose which position you want to be, left or uh, right. So you can switch between those. I prefer the right, I don't know about you guys. Uh, the size is medium at the moment, but it could be small, it could be large. So it gets quite bigger if it's large, I like it medium size. And transparency, obviously, oops, um, it's not clicking, it's just dragging this thing, the transparency will change as well. So I'm alright with 25% transparency. So this is uh, the uh, first part, the edge panels that you get, really cool. Uh, the next one is the edge feeds. You, get, you access these by swiping while the phone is uh, swiping on the side of the edge while the phone is off. Uh, and you can customize those. So what you have here is uh, information about somebody who has called you if you have a uh, missed call. And you can set those up and you can uh, add things to the briefing feed from here. You have your steps count if you want. You have um, this flipboard briefing as well. You have Twitter trends. You have Yahoo Finance again. You have uh, Yahoo Sports and Yahoo News. So you can customize these as well as much as you wish. Uh, edge feeds as well. You have information here. What's that? You can set up the timeout. You can choose between uh, 50 seconds and 10 minutes for information to be timeout and weather if you want the weather information to be shown as well alongside these. You can turn them off from here or you can download new new ones. And as I can see here now, most of them are paid but they are free ones as well and I'm sure that the developers will create new ones and have these um, added for us to use. That's quite cool. Uh, just to go back to the Edge panel you can also download new Edge panels uh, and you can add them here if you want something different. There are not too many at the moment here as far as I could see. There are only a couple of free ones just now showing up in this Galaxy App Store, but that's a good start, I think. So far, I'm pleased with what I'm seeing here. And last but not least, there is the edge lighting. So the you, the screen could light up when you receive calls or, or notifications uh, while the device is turned over. And you can have quick reply or you can turn that off as well. So quick reply is 160 symbols and you can turn it on from here or turn it off entire the whole edge lightning thing. Um, you can also see what's the current version of edge screen and you can check, check from here if you are up to date. I think I showed you that already. So this is the edge screen uh, running on the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge.